What is up YouTube? It's Grinch and in front of me I have the Gandalf the Grey and Balrog Brickheads and we're going to do a quick review of them. In total this set has 348 pieces and it retails for 20 US dollars. Let's start by taking a closer look at Gandalf. Now before we get to the review, I wanted to quickly mention that to celebrate the return of LEGO Lord of the Rings, I am doing a giveaway. I will be giving away one free copy of the Frodo and Golem Brickheads. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, like the video, and comment what your favorite Brickheads is below in the comment section. The winner will be announced on March 31st. Good luck. All right, so here we have Gandalf, and as you can see, this is capturing Gandalf the Grey in his you know, gray beard and gray attire from the Fellowship of the Ring, which is appropriate to include with the Balrog. You can see here that he has a hat, a staff, as well as a sword, and then they just have some of his dark gray robes here. They also captured his beard quite nicely, and it kind of sticks with that same style as Brickheads. And you can see we have the classic printed eye pieces here as well. However, those are the only prints that are included in the set outside of the other eyes for the Balrog. Uh, looking back around here, you can see they have his cloak, cloak captured really well, and then they also kind of have a little inclusion of a little hood right there for him, which looks good. Uh, one complaint that I have is that the hat is just a little bit too... Um, flat or, or limp for me. It, it, I wish it was just standing up a little bit taller. It kind of just looks a little bit weird or it would have been nice to have it off to the side or something like that. But alas, it all looks pretty good. You can see this is a newer piece for his sword. That looks really cool. Great piece. Definitely looking just to get more of these in general as that's just a really excellent sword piece overall. And then it does use his T traditional and typical brickhead stand there that they've been using for quite a while that that's just a little build with four pieces and overall nothing uh, crazy special here very very standard brickhead build I do wish that it maybe had some kind of some prints for his robes or something like that I always like it when these brickheads come with prints however uh, they were able to capture all of the details on him here really really well as you can see uh, regardless just by brick building it and I think that's some just really good hair design too that that sort of sculpting is, is very hard to do in Lego form and they've done a great job excellent job here with that all right so up next we have the Balrog which was a little bit of a weird inclusion in my mind um, you know we only got six total brick heads two three packs so there's a lot of characters that were missing so this one in particular was a little bit random but I guess if they were gonna do again off the gray it kind of makes sense but you know we're still missing like Gimli, Legolas, and Mary Pippin and Sam right of the fellowship I would have much rather have had them than the Balrog but nonetheless we have a Balrog we're going to review it so you can see there's some kind of flame or fiery details up here that they're capturing uh, in brick form and then they've also got some down here on both sides of the legs just to kind of represent the fire that is around this character his accessory is this uh, little red whip uh, which is like a little fire whip that you see in the movie and then you can see his kind of long um, I'm not really sure what those are, it's just a part of his head, it's like a part of his skull there uh, on both sides. Um, they're a little blocky to me and they, they do look very blocky as well, they kind of stick out. Um, again, this is just kind of a weird inclusion to have as a brick head. I will say it does look a little bit better in person than it does on the box. So. Um, when I first saw the pictures of it on the box, I was like, oh, this looks pretty bad. But after building it, it's not as bad as I thought it would. It, <laughs> it just kind of, it kind of looks more like a bat to me. I don't know, like especially this little head area. Uh, but you can see they tried to capture some of that mouth shaping there using those kind of like curved off slope pieces uh, and then the little kind of triple teeth piece there. So that, that face is actually pretty well captured in my mind. It just kind of starts to lose me here. And then when you go around, it's just so bulky, it's so big. And he was big in the film, but a lot of it was just flame and area around him. So uh, it just looks a little bit too bulky in my mind. Continuing around the back though, we do have um, some more kind of fiery or embery details here on the back of his head. These are his kind of little wings here. His little demon wings, those move in and out and they're just connected by a bar down here. And then he also has a tail 
that is all well and good and you can see there is still some just additional fire detail or ember detail there too and that moves up and down as well and you can kind of pose that however you would like another note uh, just to point out is that his legs are a little bit taller he's not much taller than the typical brickhead i've got gandalf here for scale uh, but his legs there's a really big uh, gap down there where you can see where that's not true on gandalf so they did try to just add some height to the brickhead uh, by doing that and and that looks pretty fine and proper as well obviously this is not supposed to be a one-to-one -one representation of a balrog it's a brickhead it's supposed to be a little bit blocky a little bit bricky uh, and that's all good but for me it's just a little bit too just kind of lumpy and blocked in just a really really hard character to capture in brickhead and the brickhead aesthetic overall so i do give them kudos for doing that and like i said it's a little bit better in person i won't say it's much better though so if, if you're sitting there and you're like i really just don't like it then it might not be the brickhead for you but overall let me conclude this review and we'll get out of here all right so to get into the grinch's guide portion of this review and kind of summarize my thoughts so for the build i'll give it a four out of five there wasn't anything too special obviously if you're really really into brickheads the balrog is a very unique and very different brickhead build you just haven't really seen a lot of brickheads like that so that's atypical for brickheads but nothing crazy special here with the building experience Gandalf is pretty standard when it comes to brickheads, you know, just kind of that, that main frame of brickhead that they do. For the playability, I, I didn't give it a rating because obviously these really, I mean, I guess you can play with them if you want to, but they're really not intended to be that way. So I would have had to give it like a two or a one and I just felt like that wasn't actually fair to the set. Uh, for the displayability, I'll give it a four and a half out of five. Obviously these are really meant to be displayed and put on shelf and just kind of be like cute renditions of these figures. I got to give it a four and a half out of five though, just because of that inclusion of the Balrog. To me, it, it's an iconic character, but there's a lot other characters that I would like to see personally in Brickhead's form. So I just can't give it a five for that reason, because it's a little bit random. And then for the value, again, it's 348 pieces for $20. So price depart people will love this. Um, it's obviously, it's not really like necessarily a great uh, part pack, but you do get some nice pieces in it. So uh, value wise, no complaints there. You get more than what you're paying for in my mind. Uh, it's just a little bit of a random inclusion as far as the briquettes go. And then overall that comes to a four and a half out of five, really, really solid set. It does exactly what it's intended to do, which is to be a nice, again, kind of cuter rendition of some of these characters that we know from the movie and it captures it really, really well in my mind. That all being said, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and joining in the conversation in the comments section below. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.